Welcome back to start. Um, so you've done step one, you've done step two. You're familiar with your profile page. You also know how to complete the modules and activities that really provide the engine room to this particular program. What you want to do now is just browse. Maybe you're at home, maybe you're looking at it with your parents, maybe you've reached a critical juncture in your life, perhaps it's looking uh, for life beyond key stage four, beyond year 11. Maybe it's life after year 13 you're interested in. Whatever it is, you can also use this program just to browse. I'm going to show you how to do that, whilst also making sure you make the program as relevant to you as you possibly can. So when you're browsing, of course you can also browse and looking at the jobs that the computer has also just suggested to you. But remember, the, uh, the suggestions that they make are only going to be as good as these sections are down here. If these have not been completed, and you can see I've only I've only rated three interests and three work preferences. So it's going to come up with some very, very loose and weak um, sort of job suggestions based on very little. Really, I should have I should have done far more interests, far more preferences and skills and qualities. And by doing the modules, it would have allowed me to fill that as well. However, I'm not there. I just want to browse now. I could, of course, look at the jobs that are already presented to me. Okay, and every time I look at those jobs, I'm going to choose a history teacher now. You'll notice immediately I'm no longer in my profile up here. I've moved to the world of work. So I'm now in the world of work section. Whenever you get a job profile, they all look very similar. They'll give a little bit of opening blurb. They'll give us some live job vacancies there. So you can actually see what the advertisements for these sorts of jobs look like. They'll also give you some related jobs. Okay, just in case it's just maybe history you're more interested in. So perhaps a museum curator, a curator or an archaeologist is more uh, more your thing. There's also this menu here, so you can explore the job in far more detail. Sometimes there'll be a video for you to watch as well, or, or some sort of uh, visual content for you to look at. But in this case, there isn't anything. Okay, I can check videos there, none yet. So I go back to the overview. Now it has suggested my suitability is weak, but remember that's because I've not done the modules properly yet. I've not rated as many interests and work preferences as I should have, um, and that's why it's come up with a weak suitability. But if I do like it, I have to say I like it here. If I don't like it, say you don't like it. That way the computer will can constantly be generating things that are most suitable for you. You can go back to a job, even if you'd already rated it, and change your rating. That's not a problem, because of course you change. So I'm going to like this job, and crucially I must mark it as explored. That will help determine my profile. You'll notice this little explored tab comes up. Whenever you look at something like this, make sure you explore, complete the exploration, and also rate it as well. Now, if I just want to browse generally, I'll go back to my profile. Okay. And I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to go to World of Work. It takes me to a different page. I can now search by three different sort of uh, criteria. I can search by explore, uh, by employers. So maybe there's a particular employer I want to be interested in. Okay. And a lot of these employers would have signed up to this particular program. So it's going to be quite uh, limited at the moment. So it's perhaps not the best page to go into. Let's go back to World of Work. If I look at industry. Okay, let's look at, let me see here. Um, why not? Entertainment. So I'm now in the entertainment industry. It's got some careers. Okay, and you can see there's a long, long list there. I'm going to go into agent. And what you'll find is I'm taken yet again to another job, um, the, the job profile page that looks very similar to the previous ones, the history teacher and maybe the maths teacher you saw in the, in the last video. And I've got all the various menu options so I can choose from. Remember, I must explore it. I must mark it as explored once I've looked at it. But in this one, I've also got a nice little video there to watch as well. So I'm going to say that I like this video. I'm going to mark it as explored. Okay, and that will be added to my profile. I can go back to the world of work. 
and I can continue exploring and keeping on adding various careers and various jobs. Let's say I want to ex uh, explore something different now. I'm going to go to the next tab along the top here, what to study. Okay. Now some of the careers that we looked at will have had like entry criteria and pathways within them. And within those pathways, it would have informed you the sort of qualifications you should look into. So let's say you're aware of those. You know what you need to do to be an agent or to be a history teacher. You can now explore those particular types of qualification within these pages here. Okay. So depending on what year group you are, you might be encouraged to look at GCSE qualifications, post 16 and sixth form qualifications, or post 18 and university or apprenticeships. And one of the really powerful parts of this, it's not just about going to uni. This program will also give you loads of advice on apprenticeships as well, which is a massive, massive area of growth over the last few years uh, and driven by the government. So let's say I want to look at post 18. Okay, I can look at various debates, apprenticeships versus university, university and apprenticeships. So I'm going to go straight into apprenticeships, have a look. Okay. Now it's slightly different to the career pages here in that they'll give me a little bit more information about what they actually are. Okay. And you can see you can just explore those via the tabs. Remember, don't forget to like the article if you do. Okay. If you do like that, then again the computer will recognize that you are perhaps interested in apprenticeships and make sure that any job vacancies or any new uh, careers that are posted come to you. So your profile remains alive and current and relevant to you. You can see here there's also a wealth of videos I could look at. So I think apprenticeships is an area that people don't really understand necessarily. It's quite new, it's quite exciting, a lot of money been thrown into it um, and, um, and they want to advertise it as lot. Well. Remember as well to mark it as explored. Okay, so once you've looked at it, mark as explored. That will always be at the bottom of the page for this particular area. Okay, so I'm going to come out of that. If you follow the modules and activities, you will find yourself watching several of those apprenticeship videos. So sometimes browsing and following the modules and activities does overlap. The next tab says where to learn, and this is just a live map of everywhere you can study certain qualifications. So you could type in your qualifications, uh, let's say A-levels, um, subjects I'm interested in, I'm interested in uh, economics, and now I can see there are various providers who will help me study economics. So if I go to this area here, probably recognize this section of the map and Hay School. OK, so I could look at Hay School and of course I could learn economics there. And yet again, I could like it as well. OK, so it keeps on recognizing more and more about your profile, about you. And, uh, and and trying to match things as best as it can to you. So always remember to like where possible. Okay. It's probably not massively useful as a tab where to learn. Let's have a look at employability. Okay. Now this part of the website is driven by the modules and, uh, and activities. This is where you can actually do things that will either track your uh, career progress it will help you complete uh, various exercises like building a CV, creating interview letters, interview preparations, things like that. Various tools that you can use to make you a little bit sharper in your approach to becoming more employable. I think this is best done through the modules and activities, but there's nothing to stop you going in and actually looking at various things. Let's have a look at employability skills. Okay, so here you can browse amongst the various skills, learning what they are, perhaps looking at examples of them as well. And again, remember to explore them each time. Sometimes within this, they'll also give you the chance to go to your locker. So let's say, for example, you want to show you're good at problem solving. And maybe perhaps you go on a Duke of Edinburgh expedition or you do something at work um, that would be regarded as good problem solving. Naturally, you're going to forget about that. But your locker is there to help you remember. So I could immediately think, yeah, I can remember when I solved a problem. I'm going to go to my locker now. Okay. 
Now the locker is actually on the profile page, but you can see here within the locker, I can attach documents, I can just attach video links and audios, a spreadsheet or whatever it might be that helps me prove something I have done. Okay, and that's what the locker does. It contains all the bits of evidence. It could be little snippets of, of, of videos or photos of qualifications you've earned outside of school. Okay, anything at all that could build up a picture of you. You will find that incredibly useful at the end of year 11 to then look, open your locker as it were and pull out all the relevant bits of information that give a better picture of who you are. And you'll certainly find preparing for interviews and creating a CV a lot easier as well with that bank of evidence to lean on. I'm going to go back to my profile now because I've, I've browsed all these elements at the top as far as I can. I still think the modules and activities route is the best way of completing them. It just offers a nice sequential logical route. But you can now look at this profile page and you'll probably recognize most of it. The only bit you won't know is the action plan at the bottom. Just here. The action plan again is driven by one of the modules. But you can look at a goal here. It's all about adding goals and giving yourself things to do. So let me see. Let's go for develop and, uh, develop and demonstrate my employability skills. Perhaps that's a goal that I want to uh, achieve. I type it in. Now, the goal is almost added for me. There's a lot of aims and things you can do here. Now, you can edit any of this, but it's brilliant because it populates that box full of, of little targets that you can use, uh, not just on this program, but on, on outside of this program as well, to help you achieve the goal of developing and demonstrating your employability skills. Clearly, something an employer would be very interested in seeing. It also gives you a due date as well. So you can set a time frame for when you want to achieve that goal. And then you can add it. And there's a goal. I've added a goal. You'll also notice on my profile page, my action plan now creates a single action. That's that one there. That indicates the goal that I've just made. Okay, I'm going to go back to my profile. Okay. So hopefully this video has allowed you to ex just explore the program without necessarily following the structure of the modules and activities. And once I think you either complete the modules and activities or you get a really clear idea of what you want to be, browsing perhaps is more effective anyway because you can narrow straight down on what you want to do without the computer necessarily helping you to do that. Remember, this is something you can access outside of school and it should be something that helps drive your decision making over the rest of your, your time within Hayes, however many, however many years that might be. Thanks for listening. Enjoy Start and I hope it helps you develop more about yourself, but also give yourself a clearer aim for your own future. Enjoy.